So here's the problem that I had, which is the entrance into the dust field here and the exit. Uh, now I made it much bigger because uh, the piece that uh, was required was up to three and a half inches, but I really can't accommodate that. Uh, I want to put brushes here because otherwise the saw blade in here shoots the dust all over the place. So what I have done here on this one is I have cut off the corners. I did it with a lathe, but that takes too long. It would be fine just to do it with a bandsaw, cut off the four corners, so that the piece that we start with is something quite close to the to the maximum piece of uh, what's going to come out. And I ran out of brushes, but this is what I see here: uh, brushes all the way around, and the same on the other side, so that we really enclose it, and the wood chips cannot get shot all over. The all over the place. But uh, right now I'll run this as it is and you'll see some chips will be shot out but I think we can completely eliminate that. So I have made my design in uh, Vectric uh, V-Carve and uh, I have made my tool pathing in there and then I just put it on a memory stick I put that in the machine here into the controller here then I go and find that program Bat seven. Then I will turn on my dust collector. Turn on the lathe. And then uh, run the program. And then in uh, about five minutes, we should have a finished bat.
this little chip I have here. Um, the beauty of this is obviously that uh, the machine does it all automatically. And if you want to change the shape, some people will like a bigger knob, a smaller knob, whatever. You can do that very easily in, in, the, in the design software and then toolpath it uh, accordingly. Uh, you can't see this on camera, but obviously this, is, uh, this needs uh, still sanding. Uh, two, three minutes and you will have a, a, a perfectly shaped, uh, every time the same um, baseball bat or whatever uh, rotary turning you want to do.